So these old boys here, they got their work cut out for them today on this thing. Is that swing gearbox, man? It's down in there. <laughs> it's down in there, man. He seen my camera. He's like, oh lord. up in there somewhere is it that gray one that's on the bottom right there yes sir. that's the one that, oh man yeah okay so y'all see that gray piece right see there lines? right there that's what they got to get to and take out So it's, so there's a yellow plate, right above it is gray. That's the gearbox. <clears throat> That's the only problem with the zero tail swing machines is uh, working on them. It's a little bit tight. Kind of like opening the hood on a Honda Accord or something and looking in it. But they sent Patrick up here. Patrick's the one that's going to get down in there and go and work that thing, get it out. You ain't gonna need your crane to pick it up either, are you? You gonna do it by hand, ain't you? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> hey, Patrick, yeah. That don't matter why, that might have been the, the, uh, the brake, the line going into the actual mm, mm -mm. So what uh, I'm about to do is we got some trucks we got held up. I'm gonna go up here and uh, load what's in the pile and that'll be it there's no way we can work today it ain't gonna it ain't the woods is not gonna hold us up and you see how wet it is it's not gonna work so i posted uh one of my videos in the eastern loggers group and a guy in there i can't remember his name he asked me a question about the bogey they had bought a 625 and uh, he's asking about the tires on it asking me about the hours and the rear tires and stuff and he said he thought that the machine would the tires would last a lot longer on it because it's bogey and i told him i said no they, they won't they'll actually wear faster on the bogey than they do on a normal one because they're when you turn it's just like a big truck trailer turning they're gonna drag and it eats them off this is probably what's this this is about probably our third set of tires on this bogey on the back of it ain't it yeah, I think. Yeah, at least a third set, I know, in 10,000 hours. It needs another set. And it needs a set right now. You would so, I mean, you're going to you're gonna eat the tires off the back of this thing every year. they they only going to last about a year, a little better than a year is all they're going to last. And that's going to be that's going to be it on the bogey. But, so, you got a trade-off of what the thing will pull, though. Uh, you know, so, you got that going for you. I hope them gear boxes are in all. Uh, that's been about a four year long process of them developing. And I got a grease fitting behind each side of the panel right there that is like an axle on a skidder, the old John Deere. And then they got some more brush protection, rubber boots that are going to put up there behind that slide on the back of that thing. Still accumulating a lot of brush behind the thing. But the old cutters, Flex the butt brush under the boom 
and they set the cylinder out to the end. The old, the old cutter, the cylinder was set in about a foot, and what's caused is the brush collect behind that slide and just bails up, and and then it goes down and it goes on top of your your gearbox. And why the gearbox failed, we don't know. They, 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 you know, they're going to test and see, but we wouldn't have no trouble out of the old one anyway. Well, all, they got to take a good bit of stuff off just to get to that box, don't they? And then they have to come along and out and get it just perfect. But they, uh, of course, this is all on them. I mean, it, it, this ain't nothing. None of this. Got, we've had to buy one or two of the mats they're going to put on the back of the of the boom. We're, we'll buy them, but the rest of the mods, they do. So, uh, you know, Machine's now a year and a half old. It's got 21, 25 hours, 2125 hours on it. And if these gearboxes fail next year, they take care of it. Yeah. You know, I mean, the well, he's talking about the final drives there, and that's what he's talking about on it. Uh, these are a lot bigger, deeper, uh, and we never had no trouble with the with the gears in the final drives anyway. It was always a brake failure, and. Now that last one we did have that failed what two summers ago that we ended up having to buy that was like the sixth or seventh one. Uh, yeah, it actually ate and tore gear up, but it was all due to the brake. But I hope this is fixed all. They're gonna come out I think about thousand hours. Get some more and break them apart and check the brakes. Oh, okay. And uh, so. It's been a good machine. So there's the new one inside that wooden box right there. And like Derek said, we wasn't having any trouble with the other one. They just wanted to <laughs> do change it because they have had trouble with them. Well, we hadn't. And then the one that they put in there, as soon as we got it back, we were having trouble with it. I'm talking about unloaded it off the low boy here and we were having trouble with it when uh patrick gets out of the way i'm gonna uh i'm gonna climb up there and i'm gonna look i'm gonna show y'all what they're what they're looking at and what they're dealing with what they're gonna have to do so when i crawl up there and as the camera is looking around y'all pay close attention to everything up there and look at it and uh just think about this that, that engineers the amount of what it took to put a machine like this right here together because everybody sees them in the videos and they don't think about that you know even look at the welds those welds are not there by accident it's because somebody intended on it being there and being put there and all the lines all the wires and all that stuff these things are uh these machines that we run are very very complex machines and uh, a lot of moving parts on them and stuff so uh, and their thing it doesn't matter whether it's a uh, John Deere Tiger Cat uh, Caterpillar which is a while or now or, or Timber Pro any of them they want them to run they don't build them to break you know or anything or have problems and stuff like that so uh, we're gonna so if Patrick moves and we'll hop up there real quick and just kind of give y'all a bird's eye view of what it looks like down in there, what they're fixing to be dealing with. All right, so we're up here on it now. I'm just going to pan the camera around let y'all look. Anywhere where you see red, that is for fire suppression. These are nozzles right here. See, this thing's got an onboard extinguisher system on it that will automatically go off see there's a nozzle there's a nozzle if a fire starts it'll go off automatically or you can set it the operator can can trip it too you see all the lines control valves okay so the Y'all see down in there that gray thing? This, that yellow thing, 
that's the mo that's the, that's gonna be the motor right there. And then the gray thing up under it is the uh, gearbox. And so it's down below all of this stuff here. Now the thing that they're concerned with right now is they're trying to pinpoint where the brake system is on this machine because for the swing, because they're not 100%. I can. Way down in there. No, let me move out of your way. <laughs> hey, he's down there. Patrick down there yapping down there. So we're gonna let him cipher this thing out right here. And uh I'm gonna go up here and load these trucks real quick and get this done. And oh, by the way, it's a little chilly out here today, too. I barely had enough to load all five of them trucks. I think we uh, ended the week with 66, I believe. We'll I'm see what they do up here. Got the crane out now. reason I was thinking Patrick was in a Kenworth truck I was wanting to think for some reason no more trash get in there you gonna guarantee that no no guarantee that's all right I... warranty only <laughs> <laughs> all right so what what's the prognosis man what what's the deal what's going on with this thing here dog what's making all the racket on it we think it's the brake in the swing motor brake in the swing motor so it's not the gearbox the gearbox is not fried then gearbox so that's a, that's a good thing that probably made justin feel a lot better right. <laughs> <laughs> put me on the spot man on tv and everything you can handle it though man i know you see all them lines in there a bunch of lines in there see it took so without the rubber flap that we can put in there to see. It only took see. about five hours of digging to get all the trash out of there. Yeah, that's yeah. dirt. This rubber oh, flat we put in here. It's going to stop, stop all that. Yeah. It's built up pretty bad. Yeah. Yeah. He needs to get some grease on him. No, no, I cannot get grease on me. That's right. I gave you I gave you a shirt. I sent I sent you a shirt. Why don't you tell everybody what happened to that shirt? Did you ever get that shirt back? Yeah, it never left. It never left. Yeah. You wanna share with everybody what happened to that shirt? No. We don't need to be talking about all that. Are you sure? Not on TV, man. <laughs> So this is where Jason gets all his bow hunting stuff at, and a lot of his hunting stuff too. So we're gonna go in here and check it out. I love this stuff right here. Wear a lot of it too. It's good stuff. So they got Sitka stuff in here. All right, this is the uh, Octavio County Co-op. This is kind of our biggest co-op that we have in our area that has the most of everything. So we're gonna go in here and check out their boots. It's been uh, it's been a few years since I've been in here, but they got a little bit of everything. So I didn't get any boots in there, but I seen these longer hay hooks right here. So I got one to uh, for the hogs. There to grab them where you ain't got to get so close, not to bend over so far. You can just hook them with that. I'm gonna sharpen it up and give that to Jason, put it on the Ranger. So now I'm at the Polaris place over here in West Point. I'm about to go in here and grab me an oil change kit for my uh, Ranger, and also I have a little Polaris generator. I'm gonna get an oil change for it too. So this came today. 
I'm uh those y'all in the know know about them things right there. So I'm gonna go down here and unbox it. I just wanted to sh show it in the box right here right now. Also got the lockable pin right there too for it. It comes that uh, you can order with it also. So I got it. So I will uh, I'll show it unboxing it in an entire another video. I'm gonna go down here and get it installed. I did get it with the two and a half inch shank to fit the big uh, shank on my truck. Uh, so. We're going to go down here. I got to feed the dogs real quick. We're going to go do that. We're going to install the ball. That's going to be a whole other video. It's about to get late. I'm going to get ready for go hunting in the morning, I hope. Anyhow, and it's uh, it's the wind is bad right now, and it is chilly. <laughs> 